So this is Rudyard Bay and the Misty Fjords National Monument. The Misty Fjord National Monument's uh, to over two million acres of pristine wilderness area, and it's often compared to Yosemite National Park with the uh, granite cliffs two and 3,000 uh, feet above the, the ocean plunging right into this narrow little fjord. Truly a highlight, and today the weather gods were smiling on us, although uh, things change fast in Alaska, so we go from 80, 90 degree weather uh, into torrential rain fairly quickly. We're on the inside passage of Alaska, just north of the British Columbia border and about 40 miles west of Ketchikan. This narrow little fjord is typical of what you see in Alaska. What's not typical is cruise ships visiting this place because, you sh as you can see, there's no way the big ships could make it in here. Rudyard Bay, part of the Misty Fjords National Monument, is serrated by numer numerous glacial fjords, steep valleys cut by flowing ice through the granite rock in ages past. Today, these are flooded by the ocean waters into narrow canals up to a thousand feet deep between peaks and walls towering 2,000 to 3,000 feet above the surface. Their slopes are densely covered by ancient rainforests of majestic hemlock, sitka spruce, and western red cedar trees. The cliffs are tinseled with innumerable silvery waterfalls plummeting from the heights to a ripple of the mirrored channel below. The area is abundantly populated with wildlife, including grizzly and black bears, whales, mountain goats, and deer. Another cool thing about visiting this space on Seaborne is their Ventures program. Seaborne Ventures gives its guests the opportunity to do more expedition-style shore excursions right off the ship, like kayaking, zodiac expeditions, catamaran rides, or even a float plane sightseeing tour. <laughs> 